Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. with you in a minute. I gotta make sure that all this stuff is exactly where it belongs tonight. Well, can't you do that tomorrow morning? No, I have to do it tonight. I won't have time in the morning. Why? Because everybody has strict orders to be at the bank an hour early tomorrow to meet the efficiency expert who is being sent over to check on how Mr. Mooney is running the bank. Efficiency expert? Is Mr. Mooney worried? Is he? I haven't seen him so scared since his wife started taking karate lessons. <laughs> Him for worrying. Those efficiency experts can be very tough, you know. Yeah? Yeah, we had one working at the studio. He came in to show him how to save money on a picture we were making called uh, Gunfighter at Gower Gulch. <laughs> and, you know, he figured out a way they didn't have to pay the actors. How? They used real bullets. <laughs> oh, Mary Jane, you're joking. Yeah, I heard that on the Red Skelton show. Oh, for heaven's sake. Of course, I don't know what they need with an efficiency expert around here when they've got Mr. Mooney. You know, he never wastes a thing. He makes me straighten out bent paper clips. He makes me tie knots in old rubber bands. You know what he had me do last week? What? Send out my typewriter ribbon to be dry clean. <laughs> That's real efficient. That's real cheap. Okay, I'm ready to go. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm getting in training for Mooney's new time clock. In training for a time clock? Yeah, if you don't punch it, it punches you. <laughs> You're joking, Lindsay. Yeah, I heard that on the Jackie Gleason show. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Now, Mr. Caston, the efficiency expert, has made drastic personnel changes at other branches of this bank because they were not run properly. However, Mr. Caston will find no fault at my bank because it is run competently by conscientious workers with one possible exception. Why are you late? All right, Anthony. Why are you late? Well, I, I, I was... That's the same excuse you gave me the last time. Well, I, Mr. Mooney, I'm not late. The bank isn't even open yet. I specifically requested everyone to be here one hour early this morning, and everyone was here one hour early except you, and you are ten minutes late. Well, that's an improvement. I'm usually 15 minutes late. You see? You can't even be late on time. Never mind. There's no time for excuses. Now, staff, remember this is a very important occasion for our organization. I want this bank to get a special commendation from Mr. Caston. What? It's him. It's him. It's him. It's the efficiency expert. No, it is not the efficiency expert. Oh, <laughs> It's Mr. Grantland, a very important prospective client. Oh, it's a client. It's a client. It's Mr. Grant, not Mr. Grant. Quiet! Quiet! <laughs> ah, good morning, Mr. Good Grant. Morning, good morning, Mr. Mr. Mooney. Nice to see you. <coughs> oh, uh, am I a little too early? Oh, no, that's quite all right. It's quite all right. I was just giving the morning instructions to my staff. Well, <laughs> please continue. Don't let me interrupt. Well, thank you very much, sir. Uh, oh, will you have cigars? Thank you. Well, uh, why don't you sit down, make yourself comfortable? Thank you. <coughs> now then, staff, as manager of this bank, I will see you through. If you follow my instructions, I'm sure Mr. Caston will be very impressed. <laughs> All right, everybody, up on your toes. I get this. The name is Caston. Oliver Caston. Okay, for short. Uh, good morning, Mr. Caston. I am Theodore J. Mooney, the manager of the bank. Well, ding, 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 ring out the news. 
Why is everybody standing around? This is a bank, not a morgue. Now stop standing around like a bunch of stiffs. Tell us. Get behind your cages. Bookkeepers, back to your books and file and click. Back to your files. Back to work, 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 work. Move around. No smoking on the job. What's <laughs> up, Either shape up or ship up. Get back to work. Work, 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 work. Uh, Mr. Castenter, you made a terrible mistake. I don't make mistakes. I correct them. Uh, but, sir, uh, Mr. Granton doesn't work here. He is a prospective and important client. Oh, are you glad to see you? Glad to see you. <laughs> Sorry about that cigar. Just a little joke for you. Here, take this one. There's a cigar in the floor. Do you like sloppiness? Pick it up! Good it up! Put it! Pick it up! No, Sorry about that. What is he standing there without a light? Light, 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 light. Oh, light. Yes, yes, the light. Is it too important for you no, to get out of the no, light? No, no, light, light, light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait a minute. Yes. Oh, this is a good girl. Nice to see somebody around here who is efficient. Efficiency is the lifeblood of this business, and this girl is efficient. Oh, <laughs> I don't want any screaming. Don't suck your thumb. It's a dead giveaway. <laughs> oh, I like your style, Red. You've got a good career around here. Mark my words, Mooney, this girl is going places. Yes, and I'd like to tell her where. <laughs> uh, Mr. Caston, sir. Mr. Caston. Uh, just call uh, me. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. I, I, I mean, uh, if would you excuse me, sir? Mr. Granson and I have some important business to discuss. Is that so? Why are we hanging around here for? Bullet! Go, 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 go
I mean that. I know what you mean. I know. I'd better move this thing. Where can I put? Uh, yes, this will hit. Put this right here. <coughs> Oh, yeah. Put the chair back. Oh, yes, that's, that's better. I think so, too. Yes, well, I, I hope our Mr. Efficiency expert approves of this. Mr. Mooney, mm -hmm. are, uh, are you afraid of him? Afraid of him? Certainly not. I don't particularly like him. He reminds me of my wife. <laughs> Is she efficient, too? No, she's bald. Get to work. Uh, say, uh, how many letters do I have to send out this morning? Oh, all right, let's see. What have we got here? One office, one executive, one secretary. Good, 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 good. Uh, yes. uh, you'll find nothing wrong in here, sir. Uh, everything looks fine, except... What is this water cooler doing over here? Thought I wouldn't notice it, huh? It should be over there. That's where it used to be. Who's the idiot who moved it? She is. <laughs> Well, I had a perfectly good reason. Don't, spatter, don't, spatter, da, 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 da. don't spatter. If the water cooler is by the door, every time the door opens and closes, there will be an influx of air, the draft will change the temperature in the water, and you're not thinking, Mooney. No, you're not thinking, Mooney. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Oh, well, don't be a gee whiz. I got a boy. I know that, baby. <laughs> Relax. As a matter of fact, the main officer, you all think you're very good. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh. We even have a little reward for you. Oh, what's that, sir? The key to the executive washroom. <laughs> oh, thank you. I knew you'd like it. And one other thing, Mrs. Mooney, I'm going to take your secretary away from you. Oh, you don't have to do that, sir. No, sir, you have done enough for me already. <laughs> uh, well, what time do you want her to report to your office? She's already in my office. <laughs> no, no, sir. This is my office. Not is. Was. <laughs> Well, if you use this, what am I going to use for an office? I just gave you the key. <laughs> All right, man, I want you to keep a careful record of any messages I might get. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, I'm going to lunch. I'll be back in precisely seven minutes. Yes, sir. <laughs> this water cooler, I wanted it moved. It's still here. But I gave an order. I want it obeyed. When I want it moved, I want it to move, move, move. Move, 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 move. All the time, move. What I said. And I... Hold it. No free blotters. Stop that, ladies. She reminds me of a sergeant I once knew. Shh. Uh, better move this thing, I suppose. Well, I'll help you. Haven't you helped me enough already, you Benedict Arnold, you? Oh, oh well, I just no tried to do... I didn't you mean don't anything have to by that. Like that. Oh, oh. I am glad to say I've only been here two days and already you're beginning to shape up. Beginning to shape up. But, but there's still plenty of room for improvement. Room for improvement. Mooney, there's a spot on your tie. May I say that sloppy, 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 sloppy. Mooney, sloppy, 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 sloppy. <laughs> I know that some of you resent my making you coming in earlier than usual, but remember, time is money. Yeah, the early bird catches the worm. A penny earned is a penny saved. A stitch in time saves nine. Never put off for tomorrow what you can do today. Birds of a feather gather no moss. He who hasn't... <laughs> Birds of a feather gather no moss? I mean, what is that? That's efficiency. Oh. I put two proverbs together, sir. You see, birds use moss to build their nests. People deposit money in banks to feather their nests. So it's a good slogan for a bank. Birds of a feather gather no moss. By judge, I think she's got it. <laughs> now, you can all learn from her. In only two days, she's absorbed my methods of management. I'm going to my office to rewrite my report. Take over, Red. Yes, sir. I'll take that. Right, Chief. And watch everything. Keep it going right. Right. Hold that! No free blotters! Watch that! <laughs> all right, now, hear this. Things are going to be different around here. There'll be no more goofing off. When I give an order, I expect you to jump. Jump, jump, jump. Do you hear me? We're going to work as a team. We're going to put our best foot forward. Our noses to the wheel and our shoulders to the grindstone. All right, everyone, to your post. Go, 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 go. Uh, 
Uh, may I uh, speak to you, Mrs. Carmichael? All right. What is it, GM? Well, uh, Mrs. Carmichael, in all the years of our association, I could never get you to do even your own work, let alone extra jobs, but in just two short days, Mr. Caston has turned you into a, a human dynamo. Why? Well, because, TM, Mr. Caston has taught me the meaning of efficiency. He gave me ambition. He gave me my get up and go. Mr. Caston has taught me the power of positive thinking. I can be anything I want to be. Success goes to the worker, not the shirker. Do you remember the story of the grasshopper and the ant? The grasshopper and the ant? I've been so busy, I've forgotten about the birds and the bees. <laughs> That's your job, TM. Go, 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 go. All right, open up. Open up. Here we go. On your toes, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Good morning. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Got oh, hi, Mary Jane. Oh, say, are you all right? Sure. Why? Well, you were gone when I stopped by your apartment for breakfast this morning. That's right. I left at 6.30. You know, the early bird catches the worm. What worm? All I wanted was toast and coffee. <laughs> Lucy, you know, something's happening. You're, you're so different. I've turned over a new leaf, Mary Jane. I've learned in order to get anywhere today, you've got to move, move, move. By the way, I'm going to have to call off our bowling date tonight. I'm working late. Oh, well, can we go tomorrow night? Sorry, I'm working late tomorrow night, too. Gee, Lucy, I never get to see you anymore. How about lunch today? Okay. Oh, I'll pick you up at 12. But I have to be back by 12.14. 14 minutes for lunch? That's right. I'm entitled to 16 minutes. But yesterday I took 18, so now I owe them two. <laughs> Lucy, you better stop washing your hair with that soft water. It's seeping into your brain. Brad, how's everything going? Oh, fine, sir. I'd like you to meet my friend Mary Jane, Mr. Caston. Well, how are you? Glad to see you. Glad to see you. I want to tell you, you're lucky to have a girlfriend like her. She knows her way around the business world. She has a bright future. She's going to get ahead. I hope so. She needs one. Friend? Mr. Caston? Caston, sir. I'm sure you'll be pleased to know that Mr. Grantland called. The Grantland Toy Company is transferring all of its business to our bank. Well, good, good, good. Yes, furthermore, they are going to borrow one million dollars. Bad, bad, bad. What do you mean, bad? How do we know they'll be able to repay their loan? Oh, they're in very good financial condition. Then how come they have to borrow money? <laughs> good. Did you hear? How come they have to borrow money? Good thinking, Brett. How about that? But they're a very good risk. I've seen their financial statement. What? Did you see their factory? Yeah. No. How do we know they're running their company efficiently? Yeah, how do you know that? If you didn't see the factory, didn't how do you know that they are running, running anything efficiently? Will you hold it? Will you, Will you hold it? I say a few things once in a while, too. <laughs> Before we lend them money, we're going to run an efficiency check on their factory. Come with me, Red. Come, right, come. Right, right, right. <laughs> Try not to make any more mistakes while I'm gone. <laughs> combined our shipping department with our hobby horse assembly line. Hobby horses are a big profit item with us. Got that, Red? Hobby horses, big profit. Now, you might say this is the only business in the world that you can make money horsing around. <laughs> <laughs> Ordering one dump truck. What was that voice? In addition to assembling the hobby horses, we send the other toys into the shipping department when they're ordered. Aha. Uh -huh. What's this? Where? Where? Where are they gone? Where? 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 They're taking a 15-minute coffee break, and they deserve it. What a way to run a business. Mr. Grantland, you must be off your rocker. Grantland, off his rocker. Well, what do you mean? <laughs> coffee breaks, four girls to handle a line like that. Two of them can handle it, but uh, even one. Even one. Well, Mr. Cassidy, if you can show me a way to run this operation more efficiently, I'd appreciate it. Your worries are over, baby. Get behind that assembly line, Red. Get behind me? Now, just get into this and get in there. 
Well, uh... Do as I say. Get in there. Yes, we'll show sir. them how efficiency is run. Yes, sir, I am, sir. You have no Bradley, fear. You're wanted in your office. Oh, uh, will you excuse me? I need it in my office. I have no fear. Casting is here. Just a minute. Mr. Grant, will you have him turn on that conveyor belt? Turn it on again, will you? By the time you get back, we'll be running this thing smoothly. Show you what efficiency really is. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, Grant. Go ahead, Red. You're on your own. Make me look good. Yes, sir. You can handle it, baby. Yes, sir. Just don't panic. No, sir. They make a big deal out of it. They put four broads on here. They need one. Yes, sir. Good work. Good. Look at this. Perfect, baby. You're going to make me look good. You're doing fine. It's not hard, sir. No, you got it perfect. They went that away. <laughs> fun. Fun with the work. That's the way to do it. Look how efficient you're moving. Oh, here comes another one. And you'll handle it beautifully. Atta girl. You're doing fine. I can teach you brain surgery in a week. <laughs> You're beautiful, baby. Thank you, sir. I think this will make a good investment for the bank. Good. I hope so, sir. Doing very well, baby. You certainly have bright ideas, sir. Well, I got a bright girl. I get a bright idea. You're doing Thank fine. Thank you. Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> good girl. Right the first time. How do you like it? One fire truck. Fire truck. What's the fire truck? Where's fire truck? Oh, here's one right here. Good girl. Put it on the assembly line. Beautiful fire truck. <laughs> Doing great. That's it. Ordering two mama dolls. Now, what's a mama doll, honey? Well, it's a doll that says mama. Well, find it. Where's a mama doll? Here they are. Good mama girl. Doll. Doing mama fine. doll. Mama doll. We have four girls. You're doing it all by yourself. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tail. 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 Head, head, head. Head, head, head. Uh, Audrey, no, no, that's a tail tail. What did he order? Yes, sir. He ordered something. What did he say? He ordered something. What? What did he want? He wanted one jack-in-the-box. A jack-in-the-box. Jack-in-the-box. There it is. Oh. Maybe he got a jack-in-the-box. Jack don't open it. Some stone. Don't. Yes, sir. Ordering two teddy bears. Two teddy bears. Yes, that's the teddy bear. Good girl. Yes, sir. Doing fine, Ray. They got one red teddy bear, one yellow. Now you're on your own, kid. <laughs> Figure this one out by yourself. That's too much for me. Good girl, good. Put the tail in. Don't forget the tail. That's very good. You're doing Ordering good. six yellow hound dogs. Six yellow hound dogs. Where are the hound dogs, honey? Well, hound dogs. They're, they're, they're ordering someplace. six. The hound dogs. Where are the hound dogs? Go well, get them if you can get them. A Michael? Good morning, Mr. Mooney. Any uh, messages? No, sir, but I have the morning mail. Oh. Here you are. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, Mr. Mooney. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Is there something else? Well, yes, sir. I, I, I just want to tell you how happy I am to be working with you again. Well, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it is nice to have the bank back to normal. Yes, Mr. Caston may have been efficient, but he certainly made everybody a nervous wreck. Oh, he did indeed. Oh, oh by the way, sir, yes? this top letter is from Mr. Cheever, and you have to initial it and send it to the main office as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Do <clears throat> that. There we are. Would you like me to deliver it for you, sir? No, 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 no need for you to bother. I'll have the messenger take it over. Boy? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> So what is it, sir? Uh, take this to Mr. Cheever's office. They want it as quickly as possible. Don't you worry, sir. I'll hurry. I'll go as fast as I can. I'll just run, run, run. Oh, run. Go, 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 go! Run, run, run! Ow! 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 Ow